Thank you for yeah. speaking to us, Mark, Comrade Mark, Lara Khaled. Um, one day ago, the main Zionist organizations in Australia started a campaign to push the Australian government to deny you the right to come to this country to address a mm. conference. And they are even demanding that you be denied the right to speak by video link to the conference. They say that if you speak to people in this country, you will be inciting terrorism and you will be causing division and conflict uh, in this country. Um, how would you respond to these accusations? Uh, those people don't like to hear our voices, the Palestinian voice. And they don't even like to hear any other uh, people in any country to hear our voices. But we are sure that you are the ones who are speaking and loudly support the Palestinian uh, struggle. Uh, these people have an ideology and this ideology is built on to make massacres like what they have done in, in 1948. We are the voices of the victims. I am myself, I'm a victim being uh, forced to leave with my family in 1948 to leave our house and our country. So uh, let them do that. I don't care if they like it or not. Everyone has the right to speak. This is something human and it's a democratic thing. Let them speak. And then we, uh, uh, the voice of people anywhere in, in this globe speaking about uh, their issue, about their living, about who is occupying them. Occupation is the peak of terrorism. This is in history, not only for Palestinians, but even they have grabbed our country, they have stolen our properties in Palestine, and now, until now, they want to uh, uh, make us yani, shut up and don't speak because they know the truth for what we are speaking and why we are speaking as Palestinians and our supporters. The whole world stood up calling for free Palestine. Now they are from the old and the ancient uh, 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 people having the ideology of uh, Zionism. I have to remind them that in, uh, in the United Nations, the uh, uh, Zionism was uh, uh, denied uh, uh, and was, uh, it was the resolution about uh, the definition of Zionism. It's uh, not only a political movement, but it is uh, uh, what do we call yani, uh, a racist movement against everyone who is not supporting Zionism. And for this reason, our battle with them is not only by force or by arms or uh, by uh, demonstrations, but also we are uh, speaking and we are discussing our issue as a right for a people under occupation. This is by the international community. And it was denied as uh, a movement that uh, uh, depends on uh, ethnic cleansing. I have read the book of uh, Ilan Pepe. He is an Israeli professor. He left Israel and he is now in, in Britain. He wrote a book about ethnic cleansing for the Palestinians by the Zionists. And he was, uh, uh, all the time, was denied to uh, have, uh, why he did that book, wrote his, that book, which uh, speaks about the history of Zionism uh, and the Zionists with the Palestinians. 
and he uh, spoke about the massacres that they have done in 1948 for the Palestinians. They want to silence you and they are using mm. the excuse that uh, your organization, the PFLP, is a terrorist organization. We say the, the key to solve this uh, conflict is the return of the Palestinians to, uh, to implement the right as a human right to uh, decide our future on our land. So if they accept, they should accept, but they all the time are attacking us, whether by words or by, or by arms all the time. And uh, now the logic and the human logic says that any people, and this is in the charter of the United Nations, any people under oppression or occupation have the right to resist uh, even by armed struggle, because this is a human right and it's in the charter. So we are implementing the uh, uh, items of the charter that we have to resist until we liberate our uh, country and to uh, to be on our land and now these uh, uh, human rights are uh, we have to uh, put it in reality how by resisting this is our right and we are not doing anything behind history they up till now have the uh, illusions that they will continue forever to have our properties and uh, uh, our rights, even if they deny it. Or, yeah, I mean, this is there. But the problem is in the governments who accept to silence some period the, the victim and to let the occupants uh, keep their uh, uh, voices. Uh, they have the right to speak. And we don't have the right to speak. But this is a human right for everybody, and anyone can speak whatever he likes. We don't yes. care what they say. Yesterday, somebody showed me a beautiful photograph that was taken when you visited Nelson Mandela. I want to ask mm -hmm. you, have you seen this photograph? I'm sure you have. Yes, yes, yes. And um, do you remember any of your conversations with Nelson Mandela, and did you speak about the fact that both of you have been labeled terrorists? Yeah, I uh, when I they the uh, those who invited me, they told him that uh, Leila would like to meet you, and he said yes, although he was in not in good health, and he said I heard about you. And then we spoke about and uh, about the struggle in uh, South Africa, because I was there with my son also, and uh, uh, my son and I read his book, The Long Way to Freedom, and he said, "I uh, advised Yasser Arafat not to uh, negotiate." with the Israelis on uh, yani step by step. You, because I was in prison and uh, the uh, government at that time wanted to uh, uh, negotiate the, uh, that to end the struggle of South Africans. He said, all Af South Africa and for one time, don't do uh, uh, by steps. They will deny what they accepted again, and you will lose your rights in Palestine. That's why he had a, a, a quotation, I quote, uh, South Africa uh, freedom is, uh, is not complete until Palestine is free. This is a quotation from him. And it was really... Uh, uh, this uh, conversation, until now, I remember every word he talked about the 
atrocities of the uh, uh, of his people done by the uh, apartheid regime at that time. Yes. So finally, um, what message would you have uh, for the the main uh, media in Australia, which you know the, about all of them, they only reported the Zionist argument about uh, your right to speak here. They did not report the opinion or the views of the Palestinian community or their supporters. Do you have a message to the journalists of I countries have, like I Australia? Have a human message to everybody. We have seen the on TVs and by social media, we have seen Australians going to the streets calling for free Palestine. And I tell the people, we are thankful to you, those who uh, uh, took the streets to express their uh, uh, attitude toward the, uh, uh, the massacres and the genocide in Gaza and in the West Bank as well. But it's not the same way. Yani. Until now, since 7 October, in the West Bank, uh, and including uh, uh, also Jerusalem, they, uh, they uh, arrested about 6,000 people. 6,000 people in, in four months. Why? And um, still the killing is going on in Gaza. Every day, every day. They make uh, 10, 12, uh, 5, uh, 1 massacre. They uh, bombard the houses over its inhabitant. This is genocide. This is ethnic cleansing. And these are considered in international uh, law. It, it is uh, uh, war crimes. So Israel should be really... Uh, charged for its crimes. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Leila Khaled. Is there anything else you would like to add um, mm. at this point? No, I, I, I uh, really, uh, at the beginning, when you told me you can come here, I told you, let's see. But now, I really want to say, to shake hands with everyone who held the, the Palestinian flag and the hatta that uh, on the shoulders to say uh, for them, you are our supporters, you are human beings with your rights to speak and to support the victims of uh, uh, what's going on in Palestine now by the Israelis. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We will Most win. Welcome. Okay, we will win. Thank you.